Good evening. Luis, how are you today? Good evening, Juan. How are you today? Juan, you used to be in my basic class from 6 to 8 in the morning, correct? Yes, in the... Ah, okay, I remember. Number three. Number three. Ah, basic three, right? Basic three. Okay, I remember. I remember you too. Okay, Luis Diaz. Good evening. How are you today, Luis? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very good to hear that. Okay, ready to practice? Yes, I do, teacher. I'm ready. Okay, very good. Uh, hello, Veronica. How are you today? Turn on your microphone, Veronica. Turn on your microphone. <laughs> Fine, thanks. <laughs> okay, hello. how was your day at work? Um, very uh, rainy. You very, uh, okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, and Luis, how are you today, Luis? Liz, are you there, Liz? Okay. So, Mauricio, how was your day at work today? Good evening, teacher. It was too busy. It was busy. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. Uh, have you worked on the platform? Yes. Okay. So, listen. This week, we have to finish... For your name. One and two. Okay. I'm going to start in a section two tonight. And probably we will finish tomorrow. Okay. So okay. by the end of the week, work on the platform on section one on the knowledge check 1.325A. One and 11. Okay. And also work in sure. section number two, okay? Because on week okay. three, on week number two, we are going to do section three and then midterm test, okay? So I don't want you to fall behind, all right? Good evening, right. Reinaldo. How are you? Yes, Veronica? Yes. Yes. Hi, teacher. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. How was your day at work? Mm, excited, but so far so so good. Okay, so far so good. Very good. Good evening, Josue. How are you today? Hello, teacher. So tired. <laughs> so tired. Okay, don't worry. You're gonna relax in this class. Okay. 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 Now remember, guys. Please work on the platform. Okay. After tomorrow's class, by the end of this week. You're supposed to finish section one and section two on the platform. All the knowledge checks, okay? So we will be okay. on schedule. Okay, now I have prepared a class for you. So here it is, okay? Okay. Remember that last night we started to talk about Count nouns and non-count nouns. Do you remember? Yeah. Yes. Count yes. nouns yes. are nouns that you can count. And um, non-count count nouns, nouns. Are, are nouns that you cannot count. Okay? So, I send you this information. Okay? I send you this to your, to your WhatsApp group. Okay? is a word document so i hope that you have it in your hands okay so count and non count nouns count noun definition a count noun is a noun that has a plural form non count noun don't have a plural form okay what is the difference what is a count noun a count noun is a person is a place 
or is a thing that can have a singular or a plural form. Most nouns have a singular and plural form, typically by adding S to a noun. For example, girl, girls, town, towns, banana, banana. So a cow noun typically you make the plural by adding S, okay? So a count noun can be counted. So a count noun is a noun that you can count. For example, books. Can you count books? Yes, yes. one, two, three, four, five books. Can you count cars? Yes, yes. five, six, seven, ten cars. Can you count uh, people? Yes. Okay, yes, so yes. those are yes. count nouns because you can count physically, you can count. Okay, now non count nouns or also called mass nouns cannot, uh, they talk about a person, place, or thing, but does not have a plural form. In a sense, a non count noun cannot cannot be counted. So that means you can count. Like water. Can I, if I give you water, can you count water? No. no. Can you count butter? No. You can count the pounds. You can count the bars of butter. But if I give you a, some butter, you cannot count. For example, courage. Valor. Can you count courage? No. No. Weather. No. Uh, no. Tiempo. Can you count it? No. Frustration. No. Can you count frustration? No way, no. right? So those are non-count nouns. So count nouns, sometimes called countable nouns, have both singular and plural forms. Typically, a noun is made plural by adding an S to the end of the word. For example, friend, friends. Museum, museums. Rock, rocks. Office, offices. But there are exceptions, okay? For example, child is the singular, but the plural form is children. children. Man, men. Woman, Women. Amen. So those are called irregular. Those are called irregular plural nouns. Okay. City is a plural form that you have, that is a singular, that the plural comes by dropping the Y and adding I E S. One city, two cities. Okay. Is that clear? And that happens. Yeah. When that happens when the Y is preceded by a consonant. I'm gonna write an example here. For example, boy ends in a Y, but is preceded, but is preceded by a vowel, not a consonant. Okay, so in this case, the plural is boys, only S. Is that clear? Yes. Another example yes. is, for example, toy. The plural is toys. Why? Because the Y is preceded by a vowel, not a consonant. But when it's preceded by a consonant, you have to drop the Y and add I, E, S. Okay, Daisy, Daisies. Generally, if a word ends in a Y preceded by a consonant, making a plural involves dropping the Y and adding I, E, S. However, some irregular plural nouns exist like children, irregular, you remember? Man, men, woman, women. Example of some non-count nouns. Non-count nouns, sometimes called uncountable nouns, do not have a plural form. 
and they generally fit into particular categories. We have put together a known count list below, okay? Category, abstractions, information. Can you count information? No. 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 Can you count bravery, valentia? No. No. Can you count independence? No. Now, activities. The, ca the category of activities. Running. Can you count the running? No. Can you count music? No. Can you count work? No. Now, food, the category no. of food. Can you count turkey? But the turkey, a piece. What is it? How much is it? No. We don't know. So it's not countable. Lasagna. Can you count lasagna? No. Can you count butter? No. No. Gases. Can you count steam, vapor? No. Can you count oxygen? No. Can you count smoke? No. Group no. of similar items, for example, furniture, muebles. Can you count them? In Spanish, we can count it, but in English, furniture is considered non count now. Equipment, equipo is considered non-count. Luggage, equipaje, or also called baggage. Okay, equipaje is considered non-count. Liquids, meal, water, oil. So they are non-count now. Non you cannot count. count. You can count the bottles of milk. You can count the liters of milk, the gallons of milk, the glasses of milk, but milk, milk, only uh, some milk like this, you cannot count, okay? Now, let's try to see here these exercises so we can practice. Let's see. Now, what is correct? I like some more informations or information on this product. Information. information. Only information. information is correct, right? So I like some more information. Number two, Juan. Yes. Is there, okay, remember, much goes for non count nouns, many for count nouns. So, Juan, is, what is number two? Much. Is there much pollution in your country? Okay, is there much, is there much pollution in your country? Hay mucha contaminación en su país. Very good. And because pollution is non-count now. Okay. Number three, Reinaldo. Uh, I don't have any baggage. Baggage, that is correct. Baggage. Juan. Baggage. No tengo equipaje conmigo. Okay, Juan, number four. Yeah, there is a way, a heavy traffic in the morning. Traffic, traffic in the morning. Uh huh. There is always heavy traffic. Remember, traffic is uncountable. You cannot count. Very good. Number five, Adriana. How many people do you live with? How many people do you live? You see, count now, many. Number six, let's see. Uh, Kike Escobar, what is number six? Um, can I borrow some money? Can I borrow I some money? Because money is uncountable. And okay. these two are used only with count nouns. Okay, very um, good. Nuria, number seven. Now, wildlife. You understand what is the meaning of wildlife? Vida salvaje. Vida yes. salvaje. Can you count wildlife? No. no. Uh -huh. So? We didn't see much wildlife on the Very trip. Very good. Very good, Nuria. That is correct. Mauricio, number eight. There is a few snow in the mountain. There is? No snow in the mountain. You use all these 
for cow nouns. Very good. Number nine, Marilyn. The band has written some great music. The band has written some great music. Music. Remember, no count noun. Don't take plurals. They don't have plurals. Okay. Number 10. Reyes de Jesus Rojas. The new look important. The news look. Now look. The news is always considered singular, even though you see that as, but it's always considered singular. So mm, the news okay. looks, looks important. Okay. Number 11, mm. Marielos. Can you give me a hand with my baggage? No, because baggage is non count. So the correct one will be. Luggage, which is the same. Okay? okay. I said that luggage and baggage, baggage are the same. Equipaje. Plus, they are non count noun. They don't take plural. Now, what I can say are bags. Can you hand, can you give me a hand with my bags? That is a count noun. Okay. Hello? Is that clear? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Let's see. Uh, Luis Diaz, number 12. How many How people many? were at the meeting? How many people? And people is plural. You don't need to put an S. And person is singular. You don't need to put an S. So how many people were at the meeting? Josue Miranda, 13. Okay, we saw three Moses in the attic. Okay, good. Now look, the plural of mouse is mice. Irregular plural. Mm -hmm. So Moses mm -hmm. doesn't exist. Again, mm -hmm. Josue. Okay, we saw three mice, mice in the attic. In the attic. Do you know what is the attic? At, uh, mm -hmm. Atico? Yeah. Do you know what is the... Okay, Atico. Okay, next. Uh, Vanessa, number 14. Vanessa. Okay, Vladi Rodriguez, number 14. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, Sorry. Vanessa. Are you Vanessa? Okay, sorry, yes. Okay, I can hear you okay. perfectly. Okay, teacher, I I asked you, uh, what is the meaning of rubbish? First. Rubbish is garbage. Okay. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Let me show you. Okay, so you can be clear. Rubbish is this. Garbage. Can you see? Garbage. Can you see it? No, teacher. No. No. No? Oh, no. no problem. Okay. I'll show you in a minute. Can you see now? No. No? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. It's like a trash. Yeah, it's garbage. Trash. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. There you go. So that is rubbish. Can you see rubbish collection, rubbish, rubbish, right? Okay, now, now that you are clear, Vanessa, can you tell me what is number 14? Uh, I think is there is. Complete, there complete is, the sentence. There is a lot of rubbish in the kitchen. Excellent, very good. There is a lot of rubbish. And remember, when you talk about non count nouns, they always take the singular form because they don't have a plural form. Okay, next, uh, Salomon. Yes. Uh, my daughter 
are holes in them. Okay, now let me show you too. Let me show you. Okay, these are trousers. Okay, trousers. Now, those are trousers for girls, but trousers, just trousers. Okay, these are trousers, dress pants. Can you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. Now, pants, jeans, shorts, always consider plural. Always consider plural. So when you mm -hmm. do this, you have to say, my trousers have. My shorts have because they are considered plural. So mm -hmm. remember the has is only for he, she, and it singular form. So if it is plural, I have I have a question. Yes. A glass is a is a is a plural or or singular? Depends. Okay, if you're talking about glasses like eyeglasses, and let me show you, I want to be specific in this case. We talk about eyeglasses. This is always considered plural. Okay, even though it's one, is plural. But if you talk about a glass, so this is singular and plural. Okay. Let me show you. God. Okay. Okay, so this is one glass, two glass. You can count it. Okay. Now, also, if we talk about glass, and I'm going to put here no count noun, so you can see it. Okay. Uh, it is uncountable because it's a piece. Do you understand? So we cannot count the glass. Eh, voy a decir esto en español. Como glass también significa vaso y también significa vidrio. Como vaso sí es contable. Pero como vidrio es incontable. Le doy un pedazo de vidrio. ¿Cuánto es? I don't know. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, very good. So I just wanted to make sure that you understand that. Okay, who is next? Uh, uh, Nidia, what about number 16? The money is on the table. The money is on the table. Remember, money always uncountable. Okay. Money, you cannot count. You can count the coins and you can count the bills. Okay? Okay. But money is uncountable. Okay. The money. money is the money on the table. Uh -huh. Sorry? The money is on the table. That is correct. Okay, uh, Sofia, the next one, 17. Um, the police are the interviewing all the, all the people. Okay, now look, police officers or policemen, yeah, are, but the police is the institution. So it's singular. So the oh, okay. police is interviewing all the people. So you got to be careful there, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? Okay, very good. Let me see who else do we have here. So Mauricio, number 19, no, 18. You know 18. what is chip, right? Chip, yeah. Man, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those sheep are cute. Exactly. 19, Veronica. 
my reading glasses is missing. No, remember that uh, I said glasses. Uh, glasses. Uh -huh. uh, so those my are reading. Okay. Are my missing. reading glasses uh, are missing. Even though it's only one piece of instrument is considered okay. plural because mm -hmm. it consists of two glasses. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, Carla, number 20. Carla Chavez, are you there? Knowledge of English is important. It's important. Okay, now, now that we more or less are clear what are known count nouns and what are count nouns, now we are going to work with some expressions of quantity. Two and enough indicate a degree or amount in English sentences. Two means more than necessary, okay? Two means demasiado, too hot, demasiado caliente, too early, demasiado temprano, too heavy, demasiado pesado, okay? So you use two plus an adjective or an adverb. Example, he's driving too fast. Él está manejando demasiado. demasiado. You are speaking too quickly for me. Tú estás hablando demasiado Muy rápido. rápido para mí. He is too old to drive. I am too hungry to concentrate. Estoy demasiado hambriento para concentrarme. I am too yes. hungry. So my son. Yeah, I know. And sometimes you are too tired, but let's concentrate, okay? It's true. It's true. Now, when we use enough, we can use it with adjectives and we can use it with nouns, okay? And they mean the necessary amount. So that means sufficient. Now, if I use it in a negative sentence, it means less than necessary, menos de lo necesario, okay? So how do I use it? I use adjective and adverb plus enough. And I use enough plus noun. Let me show you. You are good enough to start a conversation in English. Tú eres suficientemente bueno para comenzar una conversación en inglés. So that means the necessary amount. Now, with enough and noun, I don't have enough time. Yo no tengo suficiente, suficiente tiempo. tiempo. Because not enough, not, not, and enough means less than necessary. You are here often enough. Tú estás aquí lo suficientemente a menudo, so you might as well live here. Así que deberías de vivir aquí. Okay, let's try to use them. What is number one? Eh, let's see. Kike, what is number one? Uh, uh, there were enough many questions to answer, so only did three. No, no. Because you are trying to say that they were more than necessary, more than necessary. Mm. So what do you need to use? Two. two. Again. Then, uh -huh. there were too many questions to answer, so I only did three. Habían tantas preguntas, demasiadas preguntas que contestar que solo hice tres. ¿Está clear? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, now. Okay. Uh, Reinaldo, number two. I think the, the coffee was too hot to drink, so I left it for a minute to cool. Uh -huh. The coffee was too hot to drink, so I left mm -hmm. it for a minute to cool. Mm -hmm. Marilyn, the next one, number three. The room wasn't. Hot and now, so I turned the heating. 
Ok, look. El, el, la habitación no estaba, así que encendí el calentador. So, hot enough. Uh -huh, the room wasn't, hot enough. and because it's negative, can you see hot, negative hot there? Too much. So remember that we hot. say not enough, right? Mm -hmm. So the room wasn't hot enough, hot enough lo so suficientemente caliente. So mm -hmm. I turned the heating on. Mm -hmm. That clear? Okay. Okay. So go ahead, say it, say it, Marlene. <clears throat> Say it, Marilyn. The room. The room wasn't hot enough, so, so I turned the heating on. So I turned the heating on. Very good, Marielos. Number four. Marielos, are you there, Marielos? Adriana. Uh, I didn't buy the jacket because it was too big. It was too big, exactly. That's why I didn't mm -hmm. buy it. Luis Diaz. The shoes were small enough, so I didn't buy them. But when we say small enough, los zapatos fueron lo suficientemente pequeños. Entonces los compraría. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Grandes. Exactly. Again, again, Luis. The, the shoes were too big, so I didn't buy them. So I didn't buy them. Too big. Demasiado grande. Okay. Josue Miranda. Okay. To fit means para caber dentro de la bolsa. No. Small enough. Small enough. Okay. So, okay. No, no problem, Josué. Eh, Vanessa? It's far small enough to fit inside the bag. No. Porque si dice es lo suficientemente pequeño para que quepa en la bolsa, doesn't make sense. So, it's far it's far too big to fit inside the bag. Uh -huh. it's, it's far too big. Es demasiado, demasiado grande to fit inside the bag. Okay, number seven, Vladi. It was far too heavy to pick up. It was far too heavy to pick up. Very good. Josue, try with number eight. Kike, try with number eight, Kike. I didn't get it because it was too expensive. It was too expensive. Very good. Okay. Uh, but, uh, Carla Chavez, number nine. I haven't got enough time to take a holiday this year. Excellent. Very good. Nidia, number 10. It's, it was uh, too heavy. It was too, too heavy? Too heavy uh, to carry. It was too heavy to carry. Okay. Now we can also say it was heavy enough to carry. Era lo suficientemente pesada para cargarla o era demasiado pesada para mm -hmm. cargarla. So both are okay. Mm -hmm. The next one, Mauricio. There wasn't enough room for everybody to get in. Exactly. Very good. Next one, Juan. Um, he didn't do... Um, too much more? No, because too much means that he did more than necessary. 
So in this case, it's negative. He didn't do enough work, enough work to pass the exam. No hizo el suficiente trabajo para pasar el exam. Okay, very good. Reyes de Jesús, number 13. There wasn't enough time to finish, so I didn't manage to. So I didn't manage to, that is correct. Veronica, number 14. She can sleep because she drinks too much coffee. Too much coffee, no. very good. Okay. Very good, Marielos. Number 15. I didn't know him too well, but he was still upset when he died. Okay, I didn't know too well. 16. Eh, eh, Reinaldo, number 16. I left the job because he was making to. To, uh, too little money. Too little money because money is a countdown you use little. And that's something that we are going to see tonight. Don't worry yeah. about it. Okay, the next one, choose the correct answer. So I have more exercises for you. Adriana, what is number one? It was too expensive, so we didn't get it. So we didn't get it, very good. Um, Marilyn, number two. It's you know, difficult to read. I don't understand it at all. Okay, but if you say that, Marilyn, you say it's enough difficult. Es lo suficientemente difícil para leerlo. Así que no lo entiendo del todo. So it doesn't make sense. So what is more than enough? What is too much? <laughs> too much. So again. It's too difficult okay. to read. It's, it, uh -huh. it's too difficult to read. To read. I don't, I, under, I don't understand it at all. Exactly. It's too difficult. It's demasiado difícil para leer. No lo entiendo del todo. Okay, very good. Luis Diaz. Um, they didn't sell. Uh, um, oh, 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 the teacher, um, uh -huh. yeah, don't do three. this one, do number the four. Sample. Okay, there, there were, there were, there were two people there. No, no, too many. There uh -huh. were too many people there. There were too many people there. Okay, very good. Josue Miranda, number five. Number five, it's not. Uh, what's the meaning of sort? Sort things is para arreglar las cosas. Okay. It's not enough late to sort things out. No, it's not late. It's late. not too late, right? No es demasiado tarde para arreglar las cosas. Okay? Okay. That happens in marriages, marriages. Okay, Vanessa, number six. Uh, 
Hello, Vanessa. Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? I yeah, think I that can I hear have you. some problem. Okay. Uh, it's too difficult to pass. It's too difficult to pass. Josue Miranda. Hello, hello. Uh huh. What is number seven? Um, I left because I had enough of the arguing. Arguing, arguing. arguing. Uh -huh. Okay. Me fui porque ya estuve suficiente de sus pleitos. Okay. Very good. Vladi, uh, number eight. Number eight. He ate uh, too much and fell ill. Uh, he ate too much and fell ill. Kike, the next one. <laughs> I'm sure that I didn't sleep enough last night. I didn't. Sleep enough last night. That is correct. Number 10, eh, Salomon. Okay. Uh, it's uh, too far to work. I take the bus. It's too far to walk. I'll take the bus. Es demasiado lejos para caminar. I'll take the bus. Number 11, eh, <coughs> Nuria. I didn't get, I didn't get enough sleep. Uh -huh. I didn't get enough uh -huh. sleep last night. And I'm uh, exhausted. And I am exhausted. So I didn't get the necessary sleep. Enough okay, sleep. So that's why I'm very tired. Very tired. Okay. Okay, now. A question, does everybody have this document? Yes. Remember that I sent you this document. Do you have it? Yes. Or you don't have it? Let me see. Yes, have. Don't have it. Too much. Too okay. Much. Uh, tell me. Uh, you have to tell me. I don't have it, teacher. It's okay if you, if you don't have it. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> Okay, so do you have it? Yes, I have. You have it. Can I break you into, into groups so you can do the exercise? Because you need the document. Or is in the group. You can have it on your cell phone or on your uh, computer. I have it in my cell phone. You have it on your cell phone. Everybody has it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. So we're going to do this. Look, very easy. Now, too much and too many. Too much plus uncountable nouns. Last winter, there was too much snow. Too many plus, be careful, plural count nouns. There are too many dogs in towns. Is that clear? Okay, so let's do number one and number two all together. Can you read it, everybody? Jack. Jack always gives to many Okay, advice. Consejo. Consejo. Can you count advice? No. 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 Really. You have to do this. Much, much, too much, much bad advice. You shouldn't trust, don't trust him. him. Okay, number two, Tokyo. It's very, it's very crowded. crowded. It's very crowded. Yes. There's so many people. Many people. Many people. Many people. There's too many, many, many people. people. Okay, I'm going to break you into groups now so you can start working. Let me see how many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we're gonna make nine. Teacher, teacher yes? I have a question. Yes. Is there a WhatsApp group? 
Yes. Uh, and, could you uh, could you add me, please? No, I cannot add you. But uh, I'm going to ask somebody who is telling me this. Can you tell me your name? Nuria. Nuria. Okay, Nuria. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take your name and I'm going to tell the sales department, the support department to send you the link. They send you a link and you join the group. Do you understand? Entendio? No. Yeah, but yeah, let me see. I, I understand that he, that they sent her email. Yeah, they sent a link and with that link, you join uh, okay. the WhatsApp group. Okay. okay, so I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna give them the name and the and the and the group, so they can send you tomorrow morning. They can send you uh, the WhatsApp number. Let me okay. see. Let me okay, see if you. I. Let me see. I I think I have it right here. Hold on. Let me see. I'm going to find out. Let me stop sharing. <laughs> Now, Nuria, can you go to the chat? I'm placing the WhatsApp, how to join the WhatsApp group in the, in the chat. Wait. Can you see it? Wait, give me a minute. Go to the chat, please. Go to the chat. I don't have any group teacher. No, no, I... go, go to the chat. Here in Zoom, there is a chat room. Ah, okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh, so go to the three points and the three points is gonna open Ah, okay. And you okay. go to the chat, and in the chat, you can see the message that I send. Okay, perfect. I will okay. send to my phone. Uh -huh. So pick up the link. Okay. Pick up the link, and that will you will automatically get in in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, now I'm going to place you in groups, okay? Nine groups, I said, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, go ahead. Marilyn and Mauricio, group number one. Adriana and Sofia, group number two. Carla and Nidia, group number three. Luis Diaz and Reynaldo, group number four. Eh, Marielos and Veronica, group number five. Okay, uh, Vanessa, group number seven. Kike and Salomon, group number eight. Get in, please. Nuria and Reyes de Jesus, go to room number nine. Vanessa, group number six. Reyes de Jesus, group number nine. Reyes. Okay, very good. So everybody's in. Okay.
Sí, se puede. Ok, hello. Somos, uh, Ajá. Hemos perdido, teacher. Ya lo, ya Why? lo llamo. Why? Let me share my screen with you, ok? Here we go. Ok, let's see. Can you see the screen? Yes. Ok, now Tokyo is very crowded, lleno. There are just too many, too many, many people. people. Ok, now number three. Go ahead, Marilyn, number three. Some people. Ok. People too. Too much. Too much money and too much time. What? Go ahead, continue. What do they do? What do they do with it all? Oh, okay, very good. So that is correct. There, some people have too much money. Venice in summer. Has too much tourists can you count the tourists too, man, too many too many, many tourists porque es plural ajá uh -huh, because it, no porque es, es contable yeah. usted puede uh -huh. contar los okay. tourists okay <laughs> very good now we're going to come back okay we're going to do it uh, as a Okay, what happened? I don't know what happened. You got out of the, the room, uh, so I'm bringing everybody in, okay? In 20 seconds, we're going to be together in 20 seconds. Sofia is already here. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, okay. So I just uh, took you out of the uh, small groups. I don't understand. Uh, los acabo de sacar de los... De los de los salones de grupos pequeños. Ok. Yeah. Yes. Sí. Sí, gracias. Okay. Now, look. This is what we are going to do regardless of time. Ok. So, as you can see, I want you to do these exercises. Ok. These exercises. Okay. From here to here. Okay, using too much and too many. Okay, but let me explain this less and fewer. Use fewer when describing plural or countable nouns. Now, vaya, esto en español por, por, por tiempo. Okay, less quiere decir menos, pero se utiliza con non counts con incontables y fewer también significa menos significa más pocos pero nosotros en español no lo utilizamos como más poco nosotros decimos menos también ok pero este se utiliza con contables ejemplo now consider this uh, ok fewer than 10 people menos de 10 personas Compraron tickets para el show. So, it was canceled. Así que fue cancelado. ¿Ve? We use fewer with count nouns. I want fewer gifts. Yo quiero menos regalos para mi cumpleaños. And more fun. Y más okay. diversión. So, you see? 
I want fewer gifts. Porque gifts es contable. There are fewer puppies. Hay menos cachorros. Why? Because puppies is... It's a count. Is countable. Okay? Count. Very good. Now, here. Usamos fewer con el tiempo, pero con las unidades de tiempo que se puedan contar. It would be nice to spend fewer minutes. Fewer hours working and more having fun. Sounds great. Menos horas de trabajo y más de diversión suena grandioso. Usamos con porcentajes. Y luego less. With uncountable nouns. Y significa menos. You should, have, you should add less sugar. ¿Por qué utilizo less? Porque estoy hablando de sugar, which is uncountable. I need to drink less coffee. Coffee is uncountable. There is less milk in my glass. Hay menos leche en mi vaso. Ok. You should add less oil. Usted debería agregar menos aceite. Ok. So you use you use fewer for countable and less for uncountable. Example. Water, el agua has fewer calories than fewer milk. Calories than milk has. Why? Because calories are countable nouns. The doctor advised the, e, the, e, uh, the kid to eat fewer, fewer. sweets, fewer menos sweet. dulces, and drink mm -hmm. soda to lose weight. There are fewer, fewer. cars fewer. on the fewer road. Cars that is road. correct. Now, number five, she has much Less. Less. Uh -huh. less, less, less passion. Her husband. Passion. Okay. So now that you understand because of the time, I want you to do these exercises. Okay. And tomorrow we are going to check them. Okay. Tomorrow I'm okay. going to send you another uh, file of work with indirect questions to complete section two. Okay? So thank you very much for okay. your time and I will see you tomorrow. Please complete section one and section two as much as possible. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Thank, you. Teacher. thank you. Okay, good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you, too. Thank you. Yeah, you have a question. What is it? Is this the first document that we that you sent us? Yeah, by it's the first group? document. Well, I sent you okay. a PowerPoint presentation before, but it works better oh. using Word than the PowerPoint. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay so... Thank you very much for tonight's class. Okay, see bye. you tomorrow. Okay, Have a bye. wonderful tomorrow. night. Thank you. Thank okay, you. thanks to you. See you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. See you.